Friends, Dr. Murphy on August 2nd got a little behind in our culture cruises. Let's go back over a month ago. The trick is making the ink reappear. We'll get back to that. This one shows that the higher the eyes, the older and angrier the Muppets look. Uh, fascinating blurb here. Long to-do list for the Boston Symphony. Chad Smith, the orchestra's new chief executive, embraces both tradition and innovation. All leaders should do that. So he's off to a good start, it looks like. Retirement simply didn't suit her. Mavis Staples tried to quit, but the studio had rode one out. For over seven decades, this woman, 84, traversed several genres of music, gospel, soul, funk, and rock, until a fall on stage last summer made retirement seem imminent. Maverick back in the director's seat. Kevin Costner goes for broke with an epic four-film series, putting $38 million of his own money into a tale of the settling of the West. A princess of comedy shows a dramatic side. Abby Elliott, from a line of very funny people, stretches her talents in The Bear. This is back to the magic uh, that saved a book. Jews in Magic was published in 1933 and faded from memory. Folks, um, after getting gaslit to Mars by our government and now running for governor of Colorado, uh, I greatly appreciate these stories where uh, fiction makes more sense than reality sometimes. And so I'm increasingly intrigued by the magic, the mystical, the mysterious. Kara Walker is no one's robot. The artist offers a parable about trauma, healing and loss, and a commission for the San Francisco Museum of Art. Kara Walker is no one's robot or puppet. Back to he stopped a book from disappearing, and this features many of the great magicians of our time.